the Senate Majority Leader, the most powerful senator in America, United States Senator Henry Reid, Chuck Liddell, and Dana White. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming out here today. <laughs> Many of you that know me know I'm not a very political person or politically correct person. But uh, I came here to tell you guys today how important it is for you to go out and vote. You know, we're, we're blessed in this country that we have the right to go out and actually pick who gets put into office and who represents us. Thank you, though. I do appreciate it. What are you studying? Uh, political science, actually. <laughs> Set of reasons and everything else. There's a lot of smart kids here. You do your homework. Make the right choice. So, is there anything, any issues at all, like specific ones that you could tell? There us are, but they're my issues. Those are my issues. Everybody's going to have their own issues. Like I said, we're, we're on a campus of a college here. A lot of smart people. Do your homework. Get in there. Look at the issues. Look at both candidates and make your own decisions. I'm here to tell people to vote. You know, the right. decisions that are made today will affect us all in the future. All right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who wants to get out of here? Who wants to get out of here? The last Chris, all good! Have you guys been watching Primetime? Yeah. Nasty shape. Lesnar looks awesome. Gabe Velasquez is just a well mounted tough guy. See you guys later. This would be a good combination right there. Dude, listen to this. I'm here in Reno. And we just landed and they just fucking told us that they're shutting down the fucking airport till one o'clock. No flights can leave because the vice president's gonna be flying out. I, I gotta I gotta be at the press conference in Anaheim. So I might have to leave right now. If that's the case, I'm gonna have to leave now. I'm gonna have to drop Chuck off at this thing and, and screw. That's the coolest one I've ever Hey, I appreciate it, but but I'm a I'm a big fan. Vice President Secret Service. Oh wait, I'm gonna show you back. Bam! <laughs> How cool is that? Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, man. That's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. I got some. I got some. I got some. Take a look at them. Yeah. Cool one, thanks. Yeah. So what these are is all the different branches in the military give out these coins. It's like their way of, uh, you know, saying thank you to people. And uh, every branch of them, I didn't know Secret Service had them too. But this one's pretty cool. Can you read that? Vice President, Protective Division. That's a keeper. <laughs> I don't want to see you jamming that in the vending machine later. I think it's some burritos. <laughs> I'm so hungry.
Obviously, you guys know the deal. Tito Ortiz, Matt Hamill, Jake Shields, Mark Cammon, Gabe yeah. Shaw, the Brendan Shaw, and obviously the main event. Cain Velasquez versus the heavyweight champion. Yeah. Yeah, great show. Thank you. Love it. We watch it every night. Loved last night. Yeah. It was incredible. My Twitter was blowing up about last night. Everybody loved last night's show. It was so awesome. My wife was so excited that uh, Pierre's team kicked One, ass yeah. both times. Right. We were so excited. That's awesome. He's looking for a beating, isn't he? <laughs> he really he is. He wants to fight. We're going to see Pierre really bad. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Me too. Great I'm show. I'm for it. I'm pumped for this weekend, too. Cool. <laughs> Alright, well I got something to show you too. Cool. I can show you what we've been doing. <laughs> Good to see you. Man, I'm mad. Oh, you guys got stuff on that you're gonna try. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. I can't see what this club like this. Dude, you look good. No. If you ever see, see, see me out like this, take my back. I definitely made you, well, you know, look different. Well, you, you know, know they, 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 they had this thing tucked into the boots. I was like, oh, hell no. Hey, uh, can I give you a little bit of a We don't want to fight each other now. We're gonna force a shoot together. Listen, we probably made a plan to only slap each other. We're fighting tonight. Just for you. We can't fight. I saw him in London too, so it's, it's over. We could put a drink together. Actually, it's a fight a little too far. He told me a strategy already. Yeah. So I'm here with Vitor Belfort. Uh, who, who do you like this weekend? Uh, Brock Lesnar? Or uh, Cain Velasquez? I think if the fight goes after the third round, I think Cain Velasquez on the top on his hands, he can knock him out. Uh, but on the ground, I think just the way the, the wrestler can kind of tie him up, it's kind of hard to knock Brock out. So the chance of Velasquez is, is just to stay in his feet and move and knock him out. So I think, you know, Velasquez is such an interest fight. It's, you guys just put an interest fight. but. Both guys has the, the, you know, Brock has the power, but I think Verlaski has more skills. And if he can put the combination of boxing, like, I, and we've seen Brock before, he doesn't like to get hit on the top. So, I think after the third round, Verlaski, if before, if in power, he can, but Verlaski is so tough, so I, I stick with Verlaski. Velasquez? Yeah. All right. Thanks, brother. Okay. Ryan, Mario, Ryan Bader. Who do you like this weekend? Do you like uh, Kane Velasquez or Brock Lesnar? I got my boy Kane. Wrestled him with him in college, and uh, I just play too many tools. And he's gonna go, you know, in the fifth round. It goes to the fifth round. He's gonna be the same fighter as he was in the first round. Uh, first two rounds are gonna go. Uh, they're gonna be pretty even. You know, Brock might even get a couple takedowns, but uh, Kane's just gonna pull away. And uh, I believe a UD by Kane, uh, pretty lopsided after uh, you know getting to those two rounds at the beginning. But he yeah, just has too many tools, and and his mental game is you know off the charts. So I got my boy Kane. There you go, Ryan Bader likes Kane Velasquez. Thanks, brother. Thank you. All right, man. So I'm here with Stefan Bonner. Who do you like this weekend, Kane Velasquez or Brock Lesnar? Yo, mama. <laughs> I just can't take you seriously dressed like this Euro trash. <laughs> Look at him, right? Euro trash going to a club, except before we had this tucked into his boots. We need to go back, but all right, I'll answer you in a sec. Let me just get one picture just so I have something to laugh at. Euro, Euro trash, That's Euro gonna, trash Dana. It's right come here. up every time you call okay. him. Okay. Just for the record, we're all here doing a photo shoot for Playboy today. And, yeah. And if I ever a Euro did, trash. if I was ever really dressed like this in public, I hope somebody would punch me in the face. And I was so excited to do a photo shoot for Playboy because I thought I'd have a bunch of bunnies on my lap, and I'm here with these jabronis dressed in leather. <laughs> you but, love hanging out with dudes dressed in leather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like every other what, Thursday. It's just, it's just like every weekend. Yeah. It's, it's a typical Thursday for stuffing. Hanging out with a bunch Except of My pants are usually much beach. tighter than exactly. this. And I got my rainbow flag bandana. <laughs> um, okay, what's the question? Kane, Kane or Brock? <laughs> um, uh, I'm going to go with Kane in this one. And I think Kane's going to knock his ass out. Really? Standing up. He's going to hit him on that big cinder block head. <laughs> and, and Brock's not going to like it. And he's going to go fetal. And Kane ain't going to get tired like Shane did and punch himself out. Because that guy could go and go and go. Right. Yeah. There you have it. <laughs> Came by knockout. Sorry, Brock. Don't kick my ass when you see me. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All 
Alright, so I'm here with Junior Dos Santos. This prediction is, is going to be very interesting. Obviously, he's very interested in what happens on Saturday night between Kane and Brock. Uh, they'll be fighting him next, whoever wins. Who do you like in this fight? Wow, I think does, but for me, it doesn't matter who's gonna win. I just, uh, I think they, both the guys are wrestlers. So uh, the same way for me, I, I wanna use my boxing. Yeah, I, I will be prepared for whatever. But who do you think is gonna win? Who do you think is gonna win? I mean, I think it's 50-50, 50% for each guy because uh, Brock is so dangerous in my, in my mind. He is very dangerous, but uh, Kane is more technical and uh, get a better cardio. So uh, I think if, if the fight finishes in the first or second round, Brock's gonna win. And uh, after Kane. So he likes Brock early, Kane late. Yes, that's my idea. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it, bro. All right, so I'm here with Bones Jones. Obviously, uh, big fight this weekend. Kane or Brock? Who do you like? You know what? I think Brock's gonna win, but I'm rooting for Kane because yeah. he's a smaller guy. He has the weight of Mexicans on his on his shoulders, so he has a lot of pressure on him. I'm rooting for a little guy. Yeah, but you think Brock's got it? Yeah, Brock's just a massive like Viking. He's just a big man, and I just don't see it. I don't see Kane pulling it off. No, but I'm rooting for but, Kane. But but what do you, how do you think he wins it? I think Brock wins um, maybe on like a third round uh, TKO stoppage, just kind of what he's been doing to Frank Mir and, and everyone yep. else, just taking him down, just being too big, overwhelming, and uh, you know, just gassing him, even though Kane's known for his cardio. Right. That's a lot of man to have no, on top of No, it's true. No, that's true. Uh, they have it. Bones Jones. Oh! Pulling for Kane, but thanks for Brock's been doing it. Yeah, yeah, right. It's here, you know? Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm like, so athletic. This is so hard. You see that, you know? Yeah. It's no, me too. Yeah, I'm so excited for it. Dude, the, the energy in the place is out of it. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be good.